This session is about using Spring Eclipse as a Java IDE to build a RESTful service. Kind of two parts here, downloading the bits for this product and then just building out a Hello World. Later we'll actually um, take this and containerize it and test it within a container. In addition, you're going to want to install Java. Here's the download for that, java.com, download Windows. If you're doing this on Linux, then obviously you want to get that version. Gradle is the build and testing tool that's integrated into Spring, so here is the download instructions for that as well. And so the next step is going to be at setting up your path correctly so that these um, ancillary programs like Java and Gradle are available to the Spring framework. So here's my control panel. Let's go ahead and look up environment variables here and see what I've got set up in terms of my path and my variables. So if you look over here under system, I've got um, some stuff set up here for path. Um, if we scroll through this list, you'll see that there's some dependencies here. I'm going to go ahead and click edit. And at this point, we ought to see um, where some of the tooling lives. And here, for example, you can see that I've got a Java home variable and a Maven home variable here and a Gradle home variable. So those are all kind of variables that I've defined up above. If you look over here, we've got Gradle Home, Java Home, JRE Home, and M2 Home. Notice my versions here, 1.8.0. So after installing those applications, make sure you set up these environment variables and make them part of your path. So that way this stuff all works. Here you can see at spring.io tools eclipse, there is the spring tool suite you can download. So this is actually where you get um, the product, once you get it, it'll come in the form of a zip and you just unzip it. You can see here I got a folder called Spring on my C drive and here is STS the executable that starts up Eclipse. In this case, Spring Eclipse. Okay, let's talk about what we're going to build. We're going to build a web service that responds to HTTP GET requests. And in this case, while debugging, we're going to respond to the URL as you see there. In return, what are we going to get? A JSON representation of, say, just Hello World. So that's what we're going to build. Let's go ahead and do that. So to make things easy here to actually create a new project, we're going to download all, all that we need from Git. And that's the URL, Spring Guides, WAC, GS REST Service. So let's go ahead and clone that to my local repo and then import that project. So let's go ahead now and do that Git clone of the GS REST Service. And that will essentially put all our objects in a folder called GS REST Service. And I take a look, it's all the assets that we're going to need to, to work on this project. So what we're going to do now is essentially just import this project into um, Eclipse. Now just to be clear, we're going to go into the complete folder because that's really where all the main code lives and that's what we're going to import for our project. So let's go ahead and just do that. Let's go ahead and do that import. We'll go to the file menu here and do an import. See if I can get it to show up on the screen here. Kind of tough. Here's the import. And we'll start with the Gradle project here. We'll click Next and then we'll navigate to that folder we saw earlier which was the projects, etc. Let's go grab that. Go ahead and click Finish. And at this point it's taken in all the um, Gradle dependencies and all the stuff we'll need to really um, work with this, what appears to be a pretty opinionated um, uh, framework, but again, giving us the shortest path to creating a RESTful service here with Java and with the uh, Spring environment. What you see here is all the jar files that provide all the necessary functionality that we're going to use in this project. And here you can see we've had the complete folder with all the folders and everything ready to go here. Um, if you look over here, for example, we have a greeting class, um, which just represents the actual content, the model, if you will, of a model view controller. And then, of course, here's the controller um, component. So it's giving you everything that you just need to run. Now, if you wanted to, you could also add um, your own unit test. It does give you a little kind of test harness where you can write your code. And in this case, notice they're essentially saying that hello world should appear by default if I just go to whack greeting. So let's go ahead now and just build this project, make sure it compiles. I'll run the build command, and hopefully if you look at console, we'll see build successful. 
Now one of the things you'll want to kind of extend beyond the default behavior here is to implement the Spring Boot Servlet Analyzer. And essentially this makes a deployable WAR file, one that automatically um, renders itself once it is hit by a request, an HTTP request. So literally I'm going to grab all this code over here and copy it. And then go over to my project and paste it in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to the application um, project and just simply replace this code here with the code we just copied. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. Notice here I need to um, add um, some imports, so I'll do that. Go ahead and add this one over here. And at this point, um, we're ready to compile. So I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to do a save, of course. Do a quick save. Go ahead and continue the save, and then I can go back over here to my um, run task, my Gradle tasks here, and do a quick build. So there's a couple other quick adjustments to make. We need to decorate the application class with the um, declarations you see here, and then we need to go to build Gradle and tell um, the Gradle build environment to add the Spring Boot starter kit. So let's go ahead and verify that's done and go to the next. So notice here we've decorated the application um, class with these um, elements. And in addition, if you go check out uh, the build.gradle file here, let's go ahead and check that out. We've got a couple projects here. So we have the build.gradle file, and it also has been given some of these um, startup uh, pieces here for the dependencies. So let's go ahead and close everything down, verify everything else real quick. So once again, we go to the application class, we got the name decorations, and then we go to build.gradle, and essentially just make sure you see all four of these um, that come out of the build project. Okay, I think that completes uh, the building out of this project. Okay, so what we just did basically is we enabled this um, WAR file that we've created to be automatically deployable once I copy it into Tomcat, which we're going to do in a future step.